taken over the kitchen. We have came out um, to the farm uh, table, uh, Shoeless Institute, and we have taken over their kitchen. I have some amazing, amazing high school students that have come, they have uh, created their restaurant, um, they've created their own menu, and they are literally cooking right now for the guests, and they are serving it as if it's their own establishment. The theme of the menu is actually it's supposed to be like a soul food menu or soul food theme and how that originated we originally our first date was the Tuesday after Thanksgiving I think November the 28th and so originally we were going to repurpose Thanksgiving food and so when our date changed we still wanted soul food but we just you know started from the bottom started from scratch and they came up with this menu so the theme is soul food with music um, kind of give you old school jazz somewhat we had a musician come in and play so we just wanted the whole soul food vibe So what we have, I'm going to start off with the beverages. Uh, we have a homemade um, mango passion fruit lemonade, um, and it actually has real mango and pineapples inside. Then we have a homemade strawberry lemonade that actually also has strawberries inside. They have a choice between caramel coffee or vanilla coffee, um, and then of course water and hot tea. And then for, we do offer complimentary bread. And we knocked that out of park. We had a butter candle that we made from scratch. So instead of a real candle, we made butter candles and put our bread. We offered two breads for complimentary. A uh, sweet bread, sweet corn bread, like how mama used to make it, like kind of how Jiffy, but not Jiffy, it's homemade. And then we also have a yeast roll. And then next for the appetizers, we have a broccoli cheddar soup. And then we also have a peach cobbler, a peach cobbler crepe. Then for the entree, we have a French toast chicken fried chicken sandwich um, side with some fried chips that's cut with real potatoes. And then we have a BOT sandwich that's actually with roasted potatoes. And then finally for dessert, we have a fruit omelet, which is, you don't hear that often. So what we did was we took a clear shell and put in stuffed it with fruit and then made it make it look like an omelet. So that's really, really good. It's very different. And then lastly, we have sweet, good um, sweet potato beignets. This would be, I believe, my ninth year working with kids and all just high school and it's been with culinary and it has been phenomenal. Um, it has its challenges because you work with so many different personalities and it's a good challenge because you get to um, challenge yourself. Every day doesn't look the same and I like that because it has me to adapt to learn different personality types. Um, but it's so rewarding to have um, a student that doesn't know anything, that doesn't, that comes like a clear canvas, and I get to paint what I desire them to know, and I teach them as much as I can. So to paint my own canvas inside of them and they allow me to, I really, really, truly love that. And then to have them go on, go to school for it, it's just really, really rewarding. I want them to take away that they can do anything they put their mind to. They can do anything. These students are not trained servers. They're, you know, they're learning culinary. They're learning how to cook. So for them to hop in, just like thrown in a fire to, you know, create this ambiance and this experience, I want them to take it that they can do whatever they put their mind to. The sky is literally the limit. And for this, I think they'll understand that, that they can serve people. They can make people happy with food. It's a love language, in my opinion. Um, but I, that's what I want them to take from this experience. My experience thus far has been perfection, from being greeted at the door by their front end host staff to being seated promptly, our reservation was checked. They let all of us in. We let them know that someone on our reservation was on the way. They made sure she was escorted to our table immediately. When we had a friend show up inadvertently, they asked us if it was fine if she could sit with us. Um, we had a server come to the table almost instantly and take our drink order and let us know anytime things were delayed or going to be on the way. When we had an issue with one of the drinks, he took it back promptly and reordered. So the kids have been trained to do it and they're really doing an excellent job of presentation. Uh, very, very amazing. Um, even coming in the door from the welcome, uh, the greeters to the seaters, uh, we actually add another person so, you know, they were very accommodating uh, to allow us to add someone to our uh, party. 
I would have to tell the students, like, keep going. At the end of the day, you know, you think about um, how technology is taking over so much, but cooking, like, you're gonna need somebody to actually use their hands and use their creativity for cooking. And everyone loves to eat, so it's not going out of style. And it amazes me how creative you can be with food and truly make eating a wonderful experience. So many people use food uh, to decompress to talk, to meet new people. So a lot is done over food and I love when someone can use that and take that to the next level. So I definitely want to encourage them to continue to move forward in this particular arena. Uh, she's doing an outstanding job with her students and uh, they're here getting hands-on experience of what they'll actually uh, be dealing with in the real world doing this job, this profession. Um, so uh, from what I can smell in the back, they're doing an outstanding job. I'm just here to give uh, what we call good vibes and everything else in between to just make sure we set the atmosphere uh, for anyone coming in so they can actually see that there's no difference in what age group is behind the counter or in the kitchen. The food is still going to be just as uh, good of any quality that you've ever tasted at a five-star restaurant. And uh, that's one thing that she really is keen on teaching with her kids. So uh, good job, Ms. Newsom. I'm here today because uh, I want to uh, get a good look at the Battle of Brigades uh, with the Schuler Institute and uh, Springer Mountain Farms has been involved with uh, you know different culinary schools throughout the years uh, especially with Chef Keo with Miller Grove and so and now uh, the Schuler Institute as well and so I just wanted to come in today and get a good look and they're serving some Springer Mountain Farms chicken and so I'm really excited to go eat. Uh, working in a restaurant is hard <laughs> and you guys are doing great um, you know I I worked in the restaurant industry myself, only ever in the front of house. And so being in the restaurant and the, the fast pace, the hustle bustle, all of it, but the, the community of the friends that you get um, and really being dedicated to providing good food and good service really is rewarding. And so I hope you guys really do enjoy and excel uh, in anything that you want to do, front of house or back of house, um, and call Springer Mountain Farms when you're ready to put chicken on your menu and we'll figure out how to get you guys the best chicken ever. <laughs> I'm feeling good, like, I feel like we got this competition in the bag. You know, you know, we was a little tent, like we was a little tent. The orders was coming in kind of quick. And it was our first time, so we was a lot little, little tent. Chef came here, gave us a prep talk, and now like, we getting it out. I feel like we guys got this competition in the bag. Nine Frenches all day.